to the London Stadium where West Ham United welcome Brighton and Hove Albion for the first time. There's been a lot of talk ahead of this one. It's a Friday night under the lights at the London Stadium. The last time they were here on a Friday night, they beat Tottenham 1-0. Slavin Bilic has been talking a lot in the build-up about making it their home, how they feel at home now. Uh, they can say, you know, that we're looking forward to playing at home, whereas last season they were still sort of amazed by it and in awe and, and getting used to the surroundings. Um, we'll run you through the team news. Of course, there's no Andy Carroll after his red card against Burnley last weekend. Slavin Bilic has said what he needs to say about that. He's, he's said Carroll needs to be more experienced. He is an experienced player, it's something silly to do. So they're without him tonight. He sees that as one match ban, which means Javier Hernandez is leading the line, which is quite good to see, I think, for most West Ham fans. He's been forced out to the left-hand side to accommodate for, for the attacking options they have, which has seen him play a very limited role. Uh, fans will be looking forward to seeing him up front today against a promoted size defence to see what he can do. Um, after Masuaku gets a start, he's, he's come on to great effect in the last two home games, setting up late goals against both Tottenham and Swansea. The winner, of course, against Swansea, Diafra Sacco, he's injured today. So they're missing a couple of attacking options in Carroll and Sacco. However, there's been a lot of talk from both Slavin Bilic and Chairman David Sullivan in the programme notes that they've got plenty of attacking talent to accommodate those, those losses. And Bilic has been talking a lot about having attacking players available. It's the first time last weekend that he got to have a full complement of his, his summer signings as well. One player that makes his first home start of the season, being, having been out injured, is Manuel Lanzini. He made his first start of the season at Turf Moor. This is his first home start today. He came on against Swansea and they really missed the, sort of, the creative spark. But he's, he's the main feature on the front of the programme today. And there's been a lot of talk about uh, him and Lionel Messi, obviously they're both Argentinian, he's learning from him how he can appreciate his game and how he's He's seen as West Ham's Lionel Messi, so not a lot to live up to, but he will, he will be very important tonight. They've struggled to score goals here, they've struggled to break down teams, and Slavin Milic will be hoping as he builds his fitness back up that, that he, can really, he can really help them. Of course, Antonio is back with him, and so is Marco Arnautovic, so it's an exciting attacking lineup for West Ham. Brighton, on the other hand, they've scored one goal away from home all season. They haven't won away from home in the Premier League yet this season. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a tough game for them. They'll be hoping to get their first win of the season away from home. But it, it's set up. It, it, could be, it could be an exciting game. They're two decent attacking sides when they want to be. It could be a fairly tall game, but we're hoping it won't be. Uh, nonetheless, it's an important game as West Ham head into a big week. They've got Tottenham away in the League Cup and they go to London rivals Crystal Palace after that. So a win here will put them into the top 10 of the Premier League, as it would for Brighton. Um, and it's a sense that, you know, if, if, if they can get another win under the lights here, it begins to feel more like home. A lot more sort of welcoming for the West Ham players, somewhere they can be confident in playing, somewhere they'll create good memories. So set first game of the Premier League weekend, you can follow it all on standard.co.uk forward slash football. I'll be running a live blog and I'll be speaking to you after the game.